I have already pre-shuffled and I will be using two oracle cards for your oracle advice. There are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then I'll go over the recent past, present challenge, and outcome. So Gemini, for your advice we have believe. Now believe is about well, it actually says this on the flip side of the card. It says, when we marry intentions with actions, miracles happen. That's believe. And then it's paired with joy is the ultimate creator. So, when you put your intentions, when you have intentions, um, you put them with actions, then a lot of miracles happen. I'm repeating myself, I know, I know. But it's paired with joy, so once you do that, you'll uh, experience joy. When you put your intentions, when you put what you're trying to do, when you when you put that, mix that with actions, you'll experience joy and miracles. And it's going to be um, the ultimate experience. Joy is the ultimate creator. You created these actions because you uh, did so with intentions. So a lot of times if you leave, if you leave out one or the other, then um, you can't get much created. So you experience joy when you do all of those things together. All right, Gemini, let's head on over to the recent past. So we have Three of Cups, and then we have Judgment. Now, Three of Cups, it's considered to be a card of reunions. Now, this is not always, it's not always romantic reunion. Uh, in the broadest sense, it's about running back into someone who's been away for a long time. It's usually a very happy reunion. It's upbeat. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, wedding, or a happy occasion. When it comes to love and romance questions, uh, this card can mean a reunion with a long-lost love. It does not always indicate that, so it could mean, uh, like I said, a uh, celebration. Um, some happy occasion. It could mean that too. So if you're single, or if you were single in the, in the recent past, the most likely interpretation is that uh, you would have met a likely love soon. Someone who really fit the bill of the person that you have been looking for or hoping for or hoping that you, you find. Uh, and this person, it probably would have been a new love not someone that you used to be with and that's if you're single so that would have been for the recent past and it's paired with the judgment card now this card is about jumping to conclusions decisions and of course judgments which are too hastily made if you know you're prone to doing such things this would have been a clear signal to slow down give things and people more thought give them more chances this could also be a time of spiritual awakening for you. If you were, when it comes to love and romance, if you were in a relationship, uh, it could have been a make or break period for you in the recent past. This would have been a time to get very clear about what you wanted out of life and out of your relationships. Then take steps to make them happen, make them come about. If you were seeking a, a new love or a new relationship at that time, uh, it would have came about in the very near future, but uh, you may need to take steps to make sure that you weren't leaping or jumping to conclusions about your love, your new love, or vice versa. Slow, steady wins the race with this judgment card. So, with these two cards paired together for the recent past, uh, Three of Cups and a judgment card. In the recent past, there was probably a return of a long-lost love. 
and it was a happy return very happy reunion okay you celebrate it you had a great time in the recent past with this long lost love and um, you needed to make sure that you were not jumping to any conclusions because that would have caused a problem for the relationship or you should have slowed down uh, slow steady wins the race yeah so with a judgment card you probably uh, needed to take to take this um, return of this past love take it slower than you did before when you two were together and um, because it could have been a make or break period okay of this return so yeah you did or you should have take it take it slow and uh, it would have been um, that would have determined how the relationship came out or how it how it um, it would have determined how the reunion worked out if you jumped right into it it probably would have mm, gone either way like I said this judgment card is about a make or break so only you know how it went maybe you'll let us know in the comments Gemini because those two cards they are the recent past so let's head on over to the present time now we have the will of fortune and then we have the ten of swords now the will of fortune it reminds us that this too shall pass whether it's good times bad times it's gonna pass if you suddenly find yourself sitting on top of the world keep your perspective because like I'm trying to tell you like everything else it changes live in the now count your blessings and just realize that much of life it's really out of our control but that even is okay roll with any changes at this time and think positive now this will of fortune is paired with the ten of swords this is a clear signal you have to be careful about where you put your trust you see how this man is he's out for the count he's got these ten swords in his back and he's just out so you got to be careful watch your back at this time when the ten of swords come up in a reading in relation to questions as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable this is a pretty clear answer of no however try to keep in mind that Whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust in the universe at this time. So for the recent past, Ten of Swords, Will of Fortune, not the recent past, but the present, I'm sorry. For the present, we have Will of Fortune and Ten of Swords. Yeah, you have some trust issues. You could have been betrayed or stabbed in your back hopefully not um, but whatever betrayal this was or uh, whatever situation that you feel like you can't trust it's gonna pass it's only a temporary temporary um, situation okay it's, it's gonna pass probably much sooner than you think with this will of fortune so just hang in there uh something's got you miss being not trusting something's got you feeling that way and it's got you out for the count and like i said the ten of swords is it's about no you cannot trust it so it's got you out and down on the ground okay so just keep your perspective because it's going to pass, like I said, sooner than you know. Now, that was the present time. Now, let's head on over to the challenge. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Now, the Seven of Pentacles, it's a card about returns on, on investments. This can be literal, such as a bank account returning money to you or figuratively such as investments of time, effort, and energy that you had put into a relationship. At this
this time you're going to be reaping what you have sown. This is positive. This is positive, the Seven of Pentacles. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things will be moving along. You'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a very, very good cause. You'll have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So make sure you choose wisely. That's going to be a challenge for you. It's paired with the King of Swords. So this is about uh, a powerful, opinionated, forceful man. He'll often have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. You may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, if this is you, this King of Swords. So consider the feelings of others before you act at this time. Uh, like I said, the King of Swords, the King of Swords it, it points to a forceful energy. You may not be able to get this person to change his mind or do what you want. You may need to change something about yourself or your behavior, thoughts, or expectations, but make sure you don't overextend your reach. With the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords for your challenge, they both they basically are um, saying that your money is going to take off in a really good way if it, if it hasn't already. Uh, it's about returns on investments. If it's not your money, it's a return from energy that you put into a relationship. It's going to turn for the better because, because of what you put into it. It's about reaping what you sow. So that's a good thing. Yep, that's a real good thing. So hopefully it's both. A return on, on money and a relationship. And the King of Swords... For you, to, I'm picking up for you to get this wonderful return of money or return of energy that you put into a relationship. It may cause for you to be forceful, opinionated, um, probably a little bit arrogant. Um, yeah, it's going to cause, it's going to. For you to get this Seven of Pentacles, there may be a need for you to um, overstep your bounds, okay, just to get what's coming to you. So that's what I'm picking up for you with the challenge, yeah. But this could be a person in your life that it, that's, in, it, that's in your life that's forceful, opinionated, kind of narcissistic but I'm picking up that it's a it's um, I'm picking up that it's not a person and it is a situation that's requiring you to be that way because of because of the seven of Pentacles and you're reaping what you've sown so yeah just to get the good seven of Pentacles you're gonna have to probably step outside of your comfort zone if you're not used to Stepping on others' toes. Yeah, because that's what this King of Swords does. Alright, so that's going to be your challenge. So let's head on over to the outcome. We have the Moon card, and then we have the Seven of Swords. Now, the Moon card, uh, you could be feeling psychic, intuitive. Uh, it's going to be important for you to trust your instincts at this time. Trust your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Uh, also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful. For, it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears in a reading, it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. Go with your gut instincts. Uh, we, talk, we talked about that earlier. Uh, when we got the Ten of Swords, you felt that you couldn't... Well, it was about uh, being stabbed in the back. 
and not trusting. So it's showing up again. Trust is showing up really strong in your reading. And it's saying that your instincts are on point. They are on point. So uh, with this card, go with your instinct. Just like the Ten of Swords. You cannot trust it and, it, and you shouldn't. That's what these two cards are saying. Go with your gut instincts. If you are waiting on an answer for someone, it may unfortunately take longer than you would like for it to. So try to stay patient with this moon card. That's what it's about. Now, it's paired with the seven of swords. It can point to someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes means prying into someone's life where you don't belong. If you sense that someone is spying on you. You could be right if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern. Resist the impulse if this is you. Everyone deserves privacy. So with these two cards paired together, the moon card, you're feeling really uh, psychic and intuitive. Trust your instincts. Uh, if you feel like you cannot trust the situation, then you... You can't. You're on point. The moon card is about deception, okay? Uh, something is not to be trusted. It's with the Seven of Swords. Someone's probably stalking. Or someone's watching you. So, for some reason, someone wants to know what you're up to, what you're doing, what you got on today, who you're with, uh, and you're probably picking up on that, too. I don't know if you're famous, if you have social media accounts, uh, if you're in the public eye. But someone is looking in on you, wanting to know more. So, if you're sensing this, then you're probably correct. Because your instincts are on point with this moon card. So, there also could be a little bit of deception going on uh, with whoever is checking in on you. Some type of dece deception. Yeah, that's what the moon card is about. Uh, only you know your situation, so hmm, why they would be stalking, prying, wanting to know more, uh, you probably would be the only one who knows that, so yeah, and like I said, your intuition is on point right now with this moon card, so yeah, you figure it out. And you'll deal with it. And uh, maybe you'll let us know what it is. Leave us a comment. Come back and tell us about it. So, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended. And I'll go over much more. I just want to say thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my next reading. I hope that you're enjoying 2020 and I also want to say that I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful February.